Hello everyone, this is Vanati again with the Agam Embryology webinar series and today we are going to talk about spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis begins at puberty, includes all the events by which spermatogonia are transformed into spermatozoa. Still, let's start from the very beginning which is the primordial germ cell level. At birth, the germ cells in the male infant are present in the sex cords of the testis along with the supporting Sertoli cells. Shortly before puberty, the primordial germ cells give rise to spermatogonial stem cells and the sex cords acquire a lumen and become seminiferous tubules. After puberty, cells emerge from the stem cell population at regular intervals to form the dark type A spermatogonia. They are called dark cells because they have dark staining nucleus. These dark type A spermatogonium undergo multiple mitotic divisions to form pale type A and dark type A spermatogonium. And the last or the fifth mitotic division gives rise to 32 type B spermatogonium. It's these type B spermatogonia which then divide to form the primary spermatocytes. Primary spermatocytes have 44 plus XY chromosomes, hence we can say they are 2N. These primary spermatocytes, after a prolonged prophase of 22 days, followed by a rapid completion of meiosis 1, form the secondary spermatocytes. Each of these have half the number of chromosomes as the primary spermatocyte. Hence, they are no more 2N, they are N and they have 22 plus X or Y chromosomes. Now, these secondary spermatocytes undergo a second meiotic division without any reduction in the number of chromosomes to finally give rise to spermatids. Before moving on to spermiogenesis, let's quickly recall what we have seen so far. At birth, we have the primordial germ cells and the septoli cells in the sex cords. Shortly before puberty, spermatogonial stem cells are formed. And after puberty, at regular intervals, some of these stem cells mature to form dark type A spermatogonium. These dark type A spermatogonia divide to form dark and pale type A cells through multiple mitosis and in the fifth mitotic division, type B spermatogonia are formed. These type B spermatogonia divide to form two N primary spermatocytes, then undergo the first meiotic division to form N secondary spermatocytes and finally, after the second meiotic divisions, they form the spermatids. And now comes spermiogenesis. We often tend to confuse between these terms spermatogenesis and spermiogenesis while reading the topic for the first time. Spermiogenesis is the series of changes resulting in the transformation of spermatids to what we finally call the spermatozoa or the sperms. So what are those changes we are referring to over here? First, formation of acrosome. The acrosome covers half of the nucleus and contains enzymes that assist penetration of the egg. Second, condensation of nucleus. Third, formation of neck, middle piece and tail. And finally, the fourth change which is the shedding of most of the cytoplasm as residual bodies that are phagocytized by the Sertoli cells. The total time taken for formation of spermatozoa is 74 days and this is the duration of spermatogenesis. And an approximate number of 300 million sperms are produced in a day.